is social entrepreneurship different from other models of business, aid, and impact? Social entrepreneurship is distinctly different from every other business and philanthropic model that we are used to. It blends the brains of a businessman with the heart of a humanitarian in order to build creative business models that drive positive and sustainable social change. Because conventional wisdom has traditionally viewed purpose and profit as two distinct and opposite paths. But this binary way of thinking prevents us from looking at new applications of old models in order to create necessary innovations. Social entrepreneurship simply blends the best of both worlds, business and philanthropy, in order to create solutions that we wish existed. Here's how social entrepreneurship is different from other models that we might be more familiar with. First, how is social entrepreneurship different from traditional business? Traditional businesses are designed to prioritize the profit motive, but this singular focus can often mutate into profit at all costs, which has inevitably come at a very high cost. It also perpetuates this concept of the cog economy, where people operate as cogs in corporate machinery, sacrificing their dreams, their health, and their sanity in exchange for a paycheck. Meanwhile, corporate machinery is often responsible for perpetuating and exacerbating some of the world's biggest problems. Social enterprises, on the other hand, prioritize the purpose motive. They don't neglect the role of profit, but it views profit as a tool, not the goal, a means to an end, but by no means the end in and of itself. And rather than operating as corporate cogs, people are encouraged to lean into their unique gifts, their empathy, creativity, and humanity in order to create real solutions to systemic problems. Next, how is social entrepreneurship different from regular entrepreneurship? Regular entrepreneurship focuses primarily on creating economic agency or your ability to generate income and financial independence outside of the scope of corporate structures. But it does not inherently require that the business model creates any social solutions or address any environmental issues. Social entrepreneurship begins with the social, systemic, or environmental problem it wants to solve, and only then does it build a sustainable business model around solving it. So the social, systemic, or environmental issue is the centerpiece of the business model, not a tax write-off or an afterthought. It is integral to the business, and the revenue generating piece is simply a means to that end. Number three, how is social entrepreneurship different from activism or advocacy? Activism brings attention to certain issues and demands change from the powers that be, but it does not always offer a practical method or strategy for that change to occur. So even if the powers that be agree that there is a problem, they don't necessarily know what to do to implement any change, and it won't necessarily take the time to figure that out. Social entrepreneurship not only brings attention to certain issues, but it simultaneously provides a practical alternative to address those problems. So not only do they create the change they want to see, but they serve as a model and a blueprint for what is possible. Next, how is social entrepreneurship different from corporate social responsibility? Social responsibility refers to the basic ethical obligations an organization has to society and environment. It considers the social or environmental impact of its actions on its stakeholders, not purely focused on profits to shareholders. And it may donate a portion of profits to the cause, but it does not necessarily make that cause the centerpiece of its business model. So really, it's about mitigating harm as opposed to changing status quo. On the other hand, social entrepreneurship prioritizes driving certain positive social or environmental impact rather than simply avoiding potential negative ones. The social or environmental cause is central to its business, and the goal is to generate the resources it needs in order to create the impact that it wants in terms of sustainable, social, systemic, and or environmental solutions. How is social entrepreneurship different from social service? Social servants work tirelessly to make communities and the world more equal, safe, healthy, and better. And they take direct action to address the symptoms of a problem. But ultimately, their scope of work is focused more on the immediate needs as opposed to addressing the systemic roots. So they leave the existing broken systems in place while seeking to reduce the symptoms of that negative impact. 
Social entrepreneurs, on the other hand, seek to address the underlying systems that create those problematic symptoms. They also take direct action, but in this case, it is to shift existing equilibriums that alleviate the symptoms from the inside out, mostly by creating new models that challenge old assumptions and make existing models obsolete. How is social entrepreneurship different from public policy? Public policy is slow on its best days. And in times of political polarization, almost every good policy is going nowhere. And even in times when policies weren't suffocated by political discord, they are designed from a top-down approach, which is often mired in red tape and lack of a nuanced appreciation of the practical ground level details. It is often focused on quick wins to satisfy election cycles rather than affecting long-term change. Social entrepreneurship, on the other hand, flows from the bottom up or the middle out. It allows for nimble execution and experimentation. It is not strained by the pressures of external politics and election cycles and often creates, tests, and refines the models that could eventually be codified by public policy in the future. How does social entrepreneurship differ from charity models? The charity model does not necessarily have sustainability in mind. It has actually been described as a way to alleviate the conscience of the rich and provide temporary relief to the poor. And social entrepreneur and Nobel Peace Prize winner Muhammad Yunus actually explains that we often use charity to avoid recognizing the problem and finding a real solution for it. So charity becomes a way to shrug off our responsibility and appease our conscience. Social entrepreneurship, on the other hand, is designed to be self-sustaining by creating models that go deeper than providing temporary relief. For example, Muhammad Yunus created a for-profit anti-poverty bank that invested in the recipient's ability to create their own economic agency without being suffocated by existing systems that perpetuated those cycles of poverty. So, Social entrepreneurship offers a unique alternative to traditional models of business and philanthropy. By prioritizing the purpose motive and harnessing the sustainability offered by the profit motive, it allows change makers to create the resources they need in order to make the impact they want.